What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be matching books with TikToks. I saw this video over on Allie's channel so I'll link her video down below but I thought this would be fun. I love matching things with books. I've matched Girls Go Cookies with books. I have matched Animal Crossing characters with books. I have matched One Direction songs with books. So I thought why not find some of my favorite TikToks and recommend a book based off of them. I am so excited to do this so let's just get into the video. As always check my description for updated petitions and donation links. Let's get started. I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. It's always one of them gotta be ugly. First TikTok is I've never seen two pretty best friends and for this I'm going to be pairing it with a book about friendship. This is When You Were Everything by Ashley Woodfolk which was one of my favorite books of the year. If you haven't seen that video you can watch it up here. This is about two girls Layla and Cleo and they were once best friends. They've been friends since childhood. It is written in then and now following the events of their friendship breakup and I love this. Like I said, it was my favorite book of the year. I just love this and that is why I recommended it for a friendship book. Oh shit, there's a body. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. Next is Corpse Murder and this is Corpse Husband playing Among Us and him murdering someone as an imposter and I think that this is so funny. So I'm going to be recommending a murder mystery and this is The Silence of Bones by June Her. It is set in the 1800s Joseon, Korea and I actually have a reading vlog for this. I read it when I had an advent calendar pick my TBR. This is about a 16 year old girl Seoul and she is homeless and orphaned. It is about her job following around an inspector and trying to find out who is doing all of these murders and it does have a lot of historical elements in it and I really enjoyed it. So I highly recommend it if you're looking for a murder mystery and I am not a big historical fiction fan but I really enjoyed it. Where is your roommate from? What? Her flag, like where is she from? That's a pride flag. Pride for what? She's bisexual. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where is she from? This is one of my favorite TikToks. I think it's so funny and anyone who is in the LGBTQIA plus community will love this one and so I'm going to be recommending a book with a bisexual main character and for this book I really have not recommended it in a while so I'm excited to recommend it and this is How to Make a Wish by Ashley Herring Blake. This is an own voices story about a girl named Grace and she ends up having a relationship in this book. It's one of my favorite relationships in YA and she's also going through a lot with her mother. They have a toxic relationship. Her mother is very toxic she's bouncing around from boyfriend to boyfriend and kind of dragging Grace with her and it is a very toxic environment. I will leave the trigger warnings down below for all of these books um but I really enjoy this one and I highly recommend it if you have not read it yet. Guys ever since TikTok me and my brother are just like popping up everywhere. Like Literally our names we can't go everywhere. anywhere without our names just being there somewhere. Like look, they even put it on our Wendy's receipt. What? Like if I would have known Wendy's was such a fan, like Wendy's coming to my DMs first it's before putting my name all over your company. For the Kyle and Tucker TikTok, I love this. It just makes me laugh so hard. For this TikTok, I'm pairing it with a popular book and it also goes both ways because this is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. This was very popular in 2020. Rightfully so, this is about a girl named Liz Lighty who is set to go to her mother's alma mater in her senior year of high school but she gets an email saying that the financial aid has fallen through and so she has to find out a way to get the money. After some convincing, she signs up for the homecoming court for her school and at her school if you become homecoming queen you get a large sum of money which would help her with her tuition fees and I just really love this book. It is queer, it is great, and I really love it and it is definitely popular for a reason. So y'all tell me why I've been up just watching TikTok eating gummies. Here's one I've been bit right here just like the damn fourth one I didn't eat. and I go to look at the damn bottle because they blackberry, they good as fuck. It's fucking melatonin. Y'all, I might not wake up tomorrow. The amount of times I have played this TikTok 
over and over and over. This is 100% something that I would do. I love this so much. So for this I picked a book that surprised me and this is Dragon Hoops by Jean Nguyen Yang which if anyone was wondering why I didn't put it in my top books of the year honestly I forgot to. I had so many books that I just couldn't put a whole list together so the ones that I put together I was just like here's my final list and it was not finalized after I posted. I remembered so many other books after I posted it so I would say that this is a favorite of the year as well. I was really surprised by this book because when I first picked it up I thought it was just going to be about this author learning about basketball and I am a big hockey fan and I do not care about basketball but this book did make me care about it. It is like a documentary. It is a non-fiction book about this high school that Jean works at and him trying to figure out and interview the basketball team and it's so interesting. I really loved it. I did learn a lot about basketball that I didn't know before and it just talks about so many important issues like racism and classism and a lot of other things and I really enjoyed this book. Okay, coffee to the top. Now just a little bit of milk. Perfect. Milk! Creamer! One pound sugar! Okay, now just a little bit. Perfect! Okay, I have to admit something that this is exactly how I am as a coffee drinker. It is definitely a splash of coffee and more creamer and more sugar. For this I'm going to recommend a relatable book and this is a book that I just read and really loved. This is Bookish and the Beast by Ashley Poston. It is the third book in the Once Upon a Con series. I don't know if she's going to be continuing it but it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I loved it so much. I'm choosing it for a relatable book because it talks about grief and there are so many times that I tabbed because there are so many lines about grief that I really resonated with. This is a arc so I'm not going to read off the quotes because I don't know if they're finalized or not but I absolutely loved this and it was a great book about grief and one of the best retellings in this series and it's one of my favorite series so that's saying a lot. This one is from Grandma and Grandpa, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Um, Merry Christmas, Matt. We love you so much. Wow, thank you guys. That is really sweet. Oh, and that I is... think there should be some cash in there. Oh, it appears there is. This TikTok, we have all been. We have all been here. And for this, I'm going to share a book that was gifted to me and I'm choosing an arc for this one. This is Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me by Mariko Tamaki and Rosemary Valerio O'Connell. It is a great book about being in a domestic relationship and it was gifted to me by the publisher as this is an arc. I really enjoyed it but it is a triggering book so I will link the trigger warnings down below. Those were all of my TikToks that I am matching with books. Let me know if you'd like to see a part two of this and if any of these TikToks you could relate to. Thank you all for watching. I do have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there for only one dollar. I will be sharing all my monthly wrap-ups there and now we have a Discord. That is it for me today. I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe and I will see you next time. Bye.